Hello there everybody and welcome. And this is my last teaching tip for this summer and I'm going to stop for a summer break as I'm sure most of you are. I'm actually on my very last teaching day. I've got lots of other activities to, to keep going over the summer holidays but in terms of teaching this is my very last day. And um, I just wanted to come on and just talk about one thing that you could do over your summer holidays and that is go to a charity shop because particularly charity shops like Oxfam they can have some wonderful music sections and you can find they can be little gold mines and the other day I was chatting with uh, my colleague Angie Say and together Angie and I have been putting together the latest repertoire list so here in the Curious Piano Teachers we're collating um, repertoire this is the intermediate one repertoire that's at about grade three level we've got we've managed to pull together it's great fun i have to say about 68 different pieces and we've leveled each one within that um, intermediate one level and each one has also got some teaching notes and the source there so that's available in the in for members of the community um, if you're interested then just pop a little message below and say summer and I'll DM you, I'll send you a direct message with a special discount code if you're interested in joining. Anyhow, Andrew and I were talking and she was saying how she loves going around charity shops and she picks up all sorts of pieces of music that she then learns from. And I would absolutely agree with her. And the one piece that she had was this one, Piano Lessons Book 2 by Fanny Waterman and Marion Harewood. And this is a brand new copy that's mine. But Angie had found one of these. Now, I think these, these particular books, book one, book two and book three, they're total gold mines for you as a teacher because they've got so many good teaching ideas in them. I wouldn't use the books necessarily to teach from, but certainly when I was a young teacher, um, these were some of the best books going and I learned an awful lot. So go off, have a look in some charity shops because you will find these and many other tutor books. And and repertoire books as well and even if they're ones you might not use they're quite interesting to look at you'll always find one or two ideas that you can take apologies for the traffic that's going past motorbikes deciding to drive past at this moment in time so other things that i found um recently well i was just looking on my shelves we're looking at a bach box we're looking at js bach and for example this one i found this is the french suites which i found in a charity shop I don't know 250 at the time or something like that this is an old one this actually used to be mine this was the one i first got bought i think my mum bought it for me um so that would have been that would have been two and six or something like that i reckon um i've also got the two-part inventions that's charity shop you know lovely um uh, uh text edition really really good much better than mine that I was bought when I was a teenager in the early 70s and um, yeah anyhow they, 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 you know but there's still stuff in there that I will refer to my very best I have to say my very best um, charity shop find thank you motorbikes it's a nice day you see so everybody's out here um, this is my best find and I only found them this this year so these are the sonatas of Antonio Soler and you might have heard of him he's a sort of a contemporary of scarlatti and i've got four books here and guess how much they cost each 4.99 each 4.99 so i bought all four for 20 pounds have i played every piece in them no not yet but i will go through them i will make sure that i go through them and see if i can find any goodies um so charity shops are real treasure troves and please take yourself out have a day out Go to find a charity shop, look them up online. For example, around here, I know there's a really good one, an Oxfam in Skipton, which is really good. And there is another one um, out at Sedba, which is the, the, the book town, if you like, um, which is just the other, quite close to Kendall around here. So two places where I know I can go and I can get pick up some really good music. Give yourself an hour so that you can spend time just mooching through it, I would recommend. And go with a limited, go with a budget so that you know how much you're going to spend. But it's a very useful way of building a library for yourself as a teacher and building a library that you of, of books that you might then lend out to students of sight reading or something like that. So I hope that might be sending you off this summer with those ideas. Thank you so much for watching 
and uh, continuing to support the curious piano teachers. I'm going to stop now. There'll be no more teaching tips until probably um, later in September. But we might be back. We will definitely be back. We're having a back to school promotion later on in August. Do keep a lookout for that and um, take care. Have an enjoyable summer. I hope the weather improves over here in the UK. And thank you so much. Bye for now.